Nicola Sturgeon's minions, the SNP. For some reason, this political maneuver that started a few years ago by the SNP to just randomly become European Federalists, even though before 2016, we didn't see the SNP activists running around with EU flags. They didn't have EU flags. They didn't care. Suddenly, they're all obsessed. And we know why. It's just to fight back against uh, Britain and uh, the Union flag. They decided to just think that the enemy of my enemy are my friends. And in order to be completely against the United Kingdom, they have to be pro another union. And they think that's a good idea because Nic Nicola Sturgeon has been extremely proactive with her plan uh, to make sure Scotland uh, joins the European Union, although she keeps using the term rejoin. Scotland is not rejoining the European Union. Scotland was never part of the European Union. The United Kingdom were part of the European Union, and it will be Scotland joining for the first time. And they have to be at the back of the queue. And they can't really join. It's not that easy. The issue is, of course, Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP want to join the European Union. Why? Because both the SNP government and the European Union don't care about accountability, don't want scrutiny by the media. They want to be able to be free to have financial corruptions. Financial corruptions. This is the latest that we now have from Scotland. Now, Scottish public bodies have been awarded uh, 500 million pounds worth of COVID contracts. Now, this was approved without scrutiny. Same similar situation that's been happening in London with Boris Johnson's government and Matt Hancock and all the weird and dodgy contracts. Some of them were just a coincidence because they, they just happened to have the connections, but they also were the best uh, companies and individuals to have the contracts uh, being awarded to them. But and the coincidence could stop eventually at some point. Not every contract has to be connected to Matt Hancock's neighbor uh, or Nicola Sturgeon's best friend. This is the same thing happening right now in Scotland. The mainstream media are not really reporting about on, on this. When it happened in London, they were all on top of it. But now that it's in uh, Scotland, they're not really that concerned. Now, more than half a billion pounds uh, had been paid out by Scottish public bodies during the COVID crisis without any scrutiny. Analysis by the Herald and Sunday of public contracts show that more than 160 were awarded by the NHS, Scottish government, local authorities, and others directly to suppliers without any competitive process. Where is the scrutiny? Where is the BBC? Where is Sky News? Firstly, where is Boris Johnson? Why is he not kicking off about this? Uh, it, no one's really mentioning any of this. Now, it should be our job as uh, citizens, and we are now uh, citizen journalists. Everybody, if you have an iPhone or a Samsung, whatever the phone you have uh, with camera, you are now your own individual journalist, and you have to be able to expose uh, these stories, and we have to make sure that people in this country are aware. That's why we have this channel. That's why we have all these, so that you'll be able to stay up to date and share these uh, information with the people you know, especially in Scotland, uh, because of course, they're currently, when it comes to media and press, they're in this echo chamber, uh, and it's quite difficult to actually have the sound press and media scrutinizing Nicola Sturgeon because the SNP government and officials are running away from scrutiny. So it's not going to be easy for any of them to do that. Uh, so, but that's our job, and because of you, and thanks to your support, we're able to continue our work. Now, if you want to support our work while we still have this platform before they completely kick us out, of course, we're going to uh, try to use the small short clips to keep you posted. But if you want to really support our work and continue what we do, then become a member of myitc.co.uk where you get access to full and uncensored version of these shows on a daily basis.